and this is what we're going to do today. This is just a, a little scrap project that I just wanted to do for my wife. Um, it's just a little iPad stand that um, she can have in the kitchen so that it's, she's using recipes etc. And the reason I'm showing it is that it's using a sliding dovetail joint to hold it together. Now this is just a um, very simple little piece. It's a, some scrap from a stand that I'd given her for her laptop um, to sit on lap so she wasn't cooking herself. So rather than throw it away after I'd made her a... Um, <sighs> What I made her was a rolling trolley that comes in over the top of her lazy boy and she can put her legs up and it holds her laptop. Um, maybe I should have done a video of that one. Um, so anyway, this is a, just a simple little video and the main point of this is to show you just how useful um, that sliding dovetail joint is for putting two pieces of wood together. Okay, we've already got our board to the width we want, but I want a 30 degree bevel on the top and bottom so that when it stands, it stands at an angle. So just tilt your blade to 30 degrees and uh, then trim off either end. and with the top all level. Maybe that should have been zoomed out a little bit. As I've already I had to join two pieces of wood together, just scraps. Um, I'd already knocked over a 30 degree on those so but I'm just going to re-trim those so it's uh, right, so the miter gauge set uh, to 60 degrees which gives me that 30 degree angle. Clamp it here because when you've got this miter gauge at an angle it's very easy for the wood to slip so trying to hold it by hand is not an option. Just remove it. So now we've got the nice angle that we want. And then I'm just going to trim that there. And I'll just, because I know that's square, I'll just trim that off with the, um, uh, with the fence. And this is one of the joys of using scratch, you see. Now, I'll just run this up here and trim that off, and then that's all finished. dovetail on the boards. Okay, my board is 100 
90. So that means the middle is 95. is you don't actually want to see it. So this is where this will sit and we probably only want to do the dovetail up to about that area there. So when we cut our dovetail um, we will leave a, a mark on the fence as to where to stop that. Okay, I've got the dovetail uh, bit in the router already. Um, what I want to do is now find the centre of the board. I'm just eyeballing this because, you know, this is not exact. Um, by any means. And it doesn't have to be exact. As long as it's somewhere close to the middle. So. Side, that's our bad side. It's going to be fed in this way. We only want it to go into there. So that's where we want it to stop. So just eyeball it across it because it's the same, this is not exact. Um, by any means, it doesn't have to be. So I just mark the fence so I know that when the tail end hits the mark, I can stop the router. So we'll now run that in. section to do is to set the fence up so that we cut um, the matching key part of the dovetail onto this that will just slide in. To do that um, it's usually a lot easier to use a test piece and I'm just going to use a piece of scrap um, coming up onto it until I get it right. And um, when we get the test piece a, a perfect fit, then we'll run the other piece. And okay, we're just sneaking up on this, we're nearly there. And it's just a little bit more off. And 
we have a fit. So the next thing to do is because of course this isn't won't fit is we have to take some of this hair off um, to allow that to do that. So to work that out, just put the piece up against it where it's going to sit. Um, look at the slot and then decide I'm going to take that amount off. So just mark that on the timber. And I'll just put the fence back to 30 because it's going to be the simplest. And I'm going to have to hold this because we haven't got enough room to clamp. There we have it. Um, very simple. Sliding dovetail joint is very, very strong. It's ideal for pieces like this where the joinery is going to be difficult. You know, do you wham a couple of screws through or you know, it's too thin to dowel. Um, this is an ideal joint for lots of these little projects. Very, very simple to do. Just take your time, yeah, after you've cut your dovetail, take your time to sneak up on, on that good fit. And then just trim off the excess and it's completely hidden. I hope you found this useful. Um, it's one of those really handy little joints to master and to have a play with. And, you know, that's, useful little thing. Um, I'm just going to put a, a little bit of trim along the bottom for the iPad to actually sit on, uh, sand it and varnish it. And uh, a simple little project. But what I really wanted to show you was just how useful that sliding dovetail is. Thank you.